Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is, I am who I am. Beloved family, our text says, Moses said to God, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, What is his name? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. Exodus 3, 14. Moses had the same question in his mind that billions of people also have today. He wanted to know the real name of God. Yes, God is not his name. The creator of the heavens, earth, you and me, and every kingdom in it has a name, but God is not it. God is what he is, the creator and ruler. Just as human beings is what we are. And just as you and I have a name, so does God. So what is God's real name? See, the answer to that is both extremely complicated and very simple at the same time. See, every human being already know the real name of God because it's who they are in his image. And in fact, they say his name almost every day all over the world without even comprehending it. Yes, billions of people, regardless of race, color, sex, or even religion and creed. See, we believe God is so far that we can't see or hear him. But in reality, he is so close, we overlook and ignore him. King Jesus Christ said many times, let those who have ears, let them hear. And those who have eyes, let them see. Matthew eleven fifteen. God is what he is. In the Muslim, Islamic, Judeo, and Christian religions, there is only one acknowledged personal name of God. There are many descriptions like almighty, powerful, omnipotent, and omniscient, but only one name for God. The word for God in the Hebrew is Elohim. He is almighty, powerful, omnipotent, and omniscient. In one instance in the scripture, God reveals his true name in our opening text as Moses, his servant, asked him. Moses was probably trying to figure this out for a while. And he got the opportunity when he had to convince the Israelites that the God of their fathers wanted to save them from the Egyptians and to be their God. It's an amazing correlation that King Jesus is saving us from the Egyptians of today. Another message for another time. In our opening text this morning, Moses is talking to God about his instructions to go to Pharaoh to free the people of God. God appears to him in Midian while he is tending the flock. And he saw the angel of the Lord in the midst of the burning bush. When he went to get closer, God said to him from the midst of the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Then God said, do not come near here. Remove your sandals, for the place you are standing is holy ground. Then God said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I have seen the affliction and sufferings of my people, and I shall come down to deliver them. Moses then asked on behalf of the people, what is your name? Watch this family. As I said earlier, we say the name of God all day, every day, unconsciously. When God called Moses to let him know that he was on holy ground, Moses answered, over here, I am. The exact real name that God tells Moses. He says, tell them I am sent you because I am who I am. Another way to perceive it, he is the self-existing one. He who is ever becoming what and who he is. In Revelation 4, the living creatures put it this way. Day and night, they never stop saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. You are worthy, our Lord and God, 
to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they were created and have their being. God's name, I am, reveals the fullness of his nature. All of his nature and attributes are embodied in his name and that his name and word was made flesh for us to see. John 1.1 1, 1. In John chapter 8, the Jewish opposition said to King Jesus, Are you greater than our father Abraham? He died and the prophets died. So who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is meaningless. My father, who you see is your God, is the one who glorifies me. You don't know him, but I do. If I said I didn't know him, I would be like you a liar. But I do know him and I keep his word. Your father Abraham was overjoyed that he would see my day. He saw it and was happy. You aren't even 50 years old, the Jewish opposition replied. How can you say that you have seen Abraham? I assure you, King Jesus replied. Before Abraham was, I am. Much love. <laughs>